Hey guys, it's your main guy CBK and we are back with a quick little news video giving you guys some important news. Now you guys have seen that Bitcoin and Ethereum and near enough every other token which is normally pegged on a daddy, the golden daddy, Bitcoin. Um, everything's on the rise now, everything's looking looking fresh, everything's revitalised as if it's had a shot of something, you know, to, to, to wake it up, let's say, alright, let me just... Let me just uh, get rid of all this disruption because what I'm about to bring you guys is major news. Now, if you guys don't know who Grayscale is, Grayscale is one of the largest, if not the largest, investors in digital currency being cryptocurrency. All right. The only <laughs> digital currency which is cryptocurrency. All right. There is no other. Okay. Now, knowing this. Being at Grayscale is one of the largest investors. They've got some money, man. We don't know how much. I'm sure it's public and I haven't done the research on that. You guys can if you choose to, right? But what they're actually threatening right now, and this is why I've entitled this video, Regulate the Regulators. Because what they're basically saying is, look, if the SEC don't get their things in line, get their business in line, then look, look, I'm not gonna, let me tell you what the man says himself, the CEO of Grayscale, may I add, right? Grayscale first filed to convert its flagship trust into a spot Bitcoin ETF almost a year ago, right? Grayscale threatens legal action if SEC rejects Bitcoin ETF now. Hey, look, let me, look, this is like, and, and this is something which I think we live in a quote unquote democracy or democratic world. Now we, the people sort of um, vote and, 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 and pass laws to reflect the stuff that we want, right? That's what happens in a democracy. We, we agree to or, or disagree if there are certain things that come in which do not float our boat. That's how it's supposed to be. But I think a lot of people forget that. Now, where we have, we live in a world where money talks. All right, these people have the money, and what they're basically saying is, if the SEC fails to do things in a timely manner, which sits within law, current laws around cryptocurrency, then they're gonna sue, or they're gonna take out a legal case against the SEC. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that is now really. This is, look, I mean, this could start a whole load of different cases because if this actually goes through and they successfully sue the, 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 the SEC, right? Think about other companies that has been stifled or have been held back by regulations which doesn't suit its purpose. Yeah, you see the thing is, how can you regulate something if you do not understand it? And this is something which a lot of people, a lot of the guys in America, you know, the people who try to bring out regulations. If you do not understand something, then try and get to understand it. But then also, what a resigning thing that rings in my mind. The whole thing about cryptocurrency is it's meant to be decentralized. It's taken away from the centralized body, the banks. Or I dare may say the governments in that set, in that sense, and bring it and home it home to a decentralized where now the people have the power and the control and have to say so, right? We've got the voting rights, all right. So with that said, it's very interesting, very, very, very interesting. Now, you know, this could just be words, but if it's not words then we need to we need to uh, look at things like you know what's going to happen in the future here all right so right so let's just quickly just see what else we've got here grayscale ceo they are over they they are over 800,000 us accounts waiting for gbtc to be converted into a spot etf now 
again, the, one of the reasons which I can see, right, why BTC and every other cryptocurrency is actually going up in value, and this is something which will be very, very interesting, all right? Russia considers accepting Bitcoin for oil and gas, which means instead of using the US dollar, which is the, the main trade, well, the only trading pair for the um, for exchanges, stock exchange and everything else, Russia considers accepting Bitcoin for oil and gas. And this is what BBC News says. I'm not going to go ahead and read that. Majority of all the main... Um, news outlets is actually talking about it right russia might take bitcoin as payment for oil and gas russia may be accepting bitcoin as payment for oil and gas i mean it's all over the place russia lawmaker proposes accepting bitcoin for for its oil and gas you see the thing is is this when when countries start to adopt the use cases of cryptocurrency and peg it to something like a gas or oil and may i dare say to, to 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 gold it becomes even more unshakable um whether that will happen i'm not sure reason being is that you know um this war seems i think i think negotiations are coming in right we're saying, right, okay, well, all right, guys, look, look, look. We need to talk to Putin, all right? We need to talk to him so we can get a resolution to this situation, you know, because our Ukrainian brothers and sisters are going through some not-so-nice times, okay? So they are planning to sit down with Putin and just, all right, Putin, look, 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 look. We understand that you want... Is it Crimea or, so, or somewhere? There's some place that he's actually captured now and he said, hey, this is mine. And that's where all the oil and gas is, right? And I, Rumor has it, this is kind of what he wanted. I don't know. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> so he's got what he wants. And I think what we gonna do, What when I say we, the West, the US, Europe, I think we're gonna sit down with him and say, right, all right, look, You've got what you wanted now. Is, is is that all you want? Okay. If that's all you want, that's fine. You don't need to, to be talking about you're going to be trading with Bitcoin. We will still buy the oil and gas from you using US dollar. So I think he used a tactical move to grab some attention. So that's, uh, again, I think that was really, really... Uh, that. I mean, that, that that was a chess move. <laughs> That's all I can say. That was a chess move. But anyway, what do I know? I'm not a news... I'm not a reporter. I don't go out there doing research on stuff. It's just, to me, just on, from the surface of things, kind of makes sense to me. But who am I? I'm just CBK, blockchain developer. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think in the actual comments area. Um, check all the links for the Discord group to join to join the actual Discord. And um, I'll be right back, man. I've got more to share. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.